Sir William here in Bangkok, Thailand. It was always my dream to live in Asia. And today I'm gonna to tell you how I achieved my goal and how I gave up my six figure job in the US to move here to Thailand. Oh, so I had always loved studying different cultures and experiencing different cultures ever since I can remember. And so when I got into college, that's what I started doing. I just started studying Asian culture and I really wanted to become a professor because I was inspired by studying the stuff and I really wanted to travel in Asia. So I started doing a master's degree in Asian studies, which allowed me to travel throughout Asia. And traveling in Asia just fueled my desire even more to want to live here. After I graduated, I became a professor of Asian studies and world religions, but I wasn't satisfied because that wasn't getting me much closer to living in Asia because most of the jobs for teachers over here and even professors was still teaching English and I didn't want to do that. And unfortunately being a professor was not very lucrative so I decided to make a career change into cybersecurity. I figured getting into cybersecurity and so many remote jobs that would help me be able to move to Asia. So I started doing my career change into cybersecurity. That was around 2018. I was still teaching as a professor part-time, but I got a general IT job and I started doing lots of studying and practicing for cybersecurity. So it definitely took several years to do. So eventually I got a master's degree in cybersecurity and I started doing cybersecurity for Deloitte. Now this was only a year into the pandemic and they were letting us work remotely, but only from inside the United States. So I wasn't able to work from abroad. So that still didn't get me much closer to living in Asia. Well, it did, it was one step. So I was working for Deloitte and they were telling us eventually when the pandemic eased up that they were gonna ask us to work from the office. So it would become a hybrid environment. I wouldn't be able to work from anywhere outside the United States. Not even a year into my career with Deloitte, I was crushing it and I got a promotion into management. The people that I worked for were awesome at Deloitte, but they gave me a promotion into management and no raise. They said I had to wait until the annual cycle. So that kind of ticked me off. So I started applying to other jobs all over the place, particularly in Asia, Singapore, Japan, and Thailand. So I was interviewing for all these jobs that I was applying for and I ended up getting an interview with the Thai FinTech company that I had been aware of for several years and I crushed the interview, it was great. And so, they ended up giving me a job offer to move to Bangkok, sponsor me for the visa, and give me a job. During the same week, a few days before they gave me this job offer in Thailand, I got the raise at Deloitte, and it was 70% of my current salary. An unheard of amount, it was insane. When I told my mom about the raise that I got, she cried tears of joy. She wasn't so happy when I told her I was gonna give it all up to move to Thailand for less than half of the amount of salary. So the same week that I got promoted to a six-figure salary for the first time in my life, I decided to give it all up and take the opportunity to move to Thailand and achieve my goal and my dream of living in Asia. And I had to do it because achieving my dreams and my goals is more important to me than money. Of course one needs money, but the job that I was coming to here in Bangkok would provide me with enough to live very comfortably here. So it was a no brainer for me because my goal for over two decades was to live and work in Asia. And I was finally able to have that opportunity. So I had to take it and leave all that money on the table for my six figure job with Deloitte. Now, when I did this, a lot of my friends and family thought that I was crazy. They did not display excitement or encouragement or even act like they were happy for me. They were like, what, are you sure you wanna do that? 
but in my mind, I couldn't pass up the opportunity. Do I have any regrets? Absolutely not. It's been awesome. Why would I regret leaving behind that normie life to come over here and experience adventures and different cultures and world travel? It's been great, so I have zero regrets. The moral of the story is go after your dreams and your goals. You can achieve them. It may take some time, but just come up with a plan and follow the plan and keep moving forward. It was about one year ago since I moved to Bangkok and got that job here. Since then, there has been another plot twist. I got laid off from the job a month or two ago. <laughs> so now, my job is to do this and make videos and talk to you. I would really love to make YouTube my full-time occupation, so you can help me out by subscribing to the channel. Thank you, and see you next time on the adventures of Sir William Elliot. Peace.